Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel and to a new episode on our Swift UI series. In this episode, we are going to learn how to implement a detail view. Let's have a look. We have our Pokemon list or actually our Pokedex. And once we tap on a Pokemon, we see a large image and its type and its name in the navigation bar in a detail view. And we get that for all the Pokemons in our Pokedex. Let's dive right into the implementation. And the first thing we want to do is create a new Swift UI file or view, which is going to be our detail view. So let's name it Pokemon, Pokemon detail view like that. Inside this detail view, we want to display an image and a text view that shows the type of the Pokemon, right? So for that, we will need a Pokemon local variable that we can use to access those values. And that was a vertical stack of an image and we, were, we are going to use the Pokemon's name lowercase to instantiate an image. And we don't have that image yet, but we will do that uh, or add that image in a second. Underneath the image, we want to have a text view and it is going to be the type of the Pokemon. Now hitting resume won't work. Also down here, now that we have a local property, we have to mock that for the preview and we are going to instantiate a Pokemon let's say whoops not a Z, not a zero s but a charmander and the type is going to be fire and the color is going to be red just like that let's beautify it a little bit like this and mocking is done now how to get the image what we can do is we can go here and uh, actually to pokemon.com and once you get to pokemon.com, you click on Pokedex. And inside here, you can just go to each Pokemon, let's say Bulbasaur, right click, save image to desktop, right? And then do that for all the Pokemons that we use for Charmander as well. And then for Squirtle. And last but not least, Pikachu right here. Save image to desktop. And now let's rename them to their actual name, Bulbasaur. And now let's keep in mind that we want this to be lowercase because that's how we define the image. And this is going to be Squirtle and Pikachu. Is it actually with C? I don't think so. Now we can select our assets and select all the images and pull them in here. All lowercase, all after the correct name. And now when we hit resume, we should see a detail view for that view with the image and the fire type. Let's make this a little bit smaller. And we want this image and fire type to be actually uh, aligned to the top, let's say, and have the space that we have up here and down here actually filled out by the bottom of the view. And we can do that by using a spacer just like that. Now it moves everything to the top and basically spaces out all the space that is left out. And what we can do as well is because you see kind of it crops the image. You can see it better, I think, if we use Squirtle, that it crops the image. And we can use a uh, function that is called resizable on the image to let the image resize so it really scales to uh, fit the view. Now for the text, we can also say foreground color is going to be the Pokemon color, right? So we have it. Well, this is squirt oh fire. Yeah, that makes sense. No, red. That makes sense. Let's put it to Charmander back again. And um, and then also let's say font is going to be headline. So it's bolder. You barely see it probably, but once we run it, we, you will see it. Let's move our detail view up here and use it. Now our detail view is kind of done. Oh no, one thing is missing. We want to have the navigation bar title to be the Pokemon, uh, a text view with the Pokemon name, right? And we want to have a display mode of inline so that it's really, it does not look like this, but actually is inlined. All right, now we can go to our Pokemon view here. Let's resume so we can see what happens. And we have for each Pokemon in the list an H stack, right? This represents our row. Now we want to wrap this row or each row into a navigation link, which is new in Xcode beta uh, three. It's new, it's renamed from navigation button into navigation link, just to point that out in case it doesn't work for you, then you might have the old Xcode beta or Swift actually. 
And uh, yeah, destination is going to be uh, the view, the Pokemon detail view. And this is going to be instantiated with a Pokemon and no label, just like that. And now the closure is going to be the row that we had before. That's it. Now when we run the application, we should still see our list. You can already spot the arrows down uh, on the right. Now we have our list. Once we tap, we see our Charmander in the navigation bar. Pokemon even, it says Pokemon for the back button. It has fire and it works for Squirtle, for Bulbasaur, as well as for Pikachu. That's it. I hope you've learned at least one thing in this video. If so, you can help me out by hitting like. You can also hit subscribe to not miss out on all the future episodes that I'm planning to do. Also leave a comment if you have any thoughts or feedback. I'm happy to read them all and incorporate them. Check out the description box for my merch and for Patreon to download every source code of every video that I ever do to support me doing YouTube full time. And I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.